Great Debaters Contest is brought to you by Safaricom M-Pesa. The Great Debaters Contest 2016 registration is now open. Teachers or school administrations should register on www.greatdebaterscontest.com slash register. Welcome to the Great Debaters Contest. We have pitched camp in Nakuru region, the region of champions, looking for the greatest debaters. I am your host, Mariam Bishar. And I am Austin Yumbok. The motion today is sustainable development should be citizen driven. We have Anesta Victory versus Kangui Boys. Who will be the victor? Proposal number one, you have three minutes. Call me Maureen Wanjikonganga to propose the motion that sustainable development should be citizen driven. It takes half your life to discover the life is a do it yourself project. Those are words that have echoed from a great philosopher, Neflon Hills. First, sustainable development. This is the development that meets the needs of the present, though the compromising the ability of the future generation to meet the needed needs. And what is citizen driven? Citizen driven, this is the participation of the citizen through the decision making. First, the far we have come with citizens not taking part in participation of developments in our country. How far have we gone to? Nowhere. Well, corruption is not a new concept to our ears. It has become the forefront of every global developing agendas on how to curb the situation. I see the granary from a mile, which was big and enough to sustain our, our generation. But do you know what happened at the long run? Uh, rats and squirrels have come to eat. Their tails have grown big. Their bodies big, multiplying in numbers. They have come to our granary. I'm talking about the corrupt leaders that you're having in our country. They are making us not to develop our nations. But what if the citizens were involved in the policy making, in the decision making? They will have leaders who are accountable on, what, on our resources. We'll also have transparency on the funded projects that you are having. Moreover, I'm tired of borrowing. That's why I opt to ask that you can be self-independent because you have citizens who are willing and able to take part in the development. Let's take an instance of Brazil and Japan. They had enterprising citizens. That's why they were able to, to develop their industrialization. Why not embrace it and we may go far in our developments? To further this, foundations have been set up such as the Alfred Peace Loan Foundation supported by projects that are geared towards connecting citizens to the assessment performance. Sloan Foundation projects have stimulated the demand of the citizen based on the performance of assessment, sustained contribution between the local government and the citizen, and encourage the widespread of adoption of citizen-driven initiatives across the jurisdiction. We find that at times, that you have projects that are to take a long period. Let's take for an instant 10 years project. But a leader maybe is to take five term, a five term, five term in office. This, this, this project will not have been completed by the end of the 10 year term. But because the citizens were involved in this plan, the, pro, the, the, the project will be able to continue in due time without wastage of time. Thank you. We'll hear opening statements from the opposition. You have three minutes. Moravi Moses from Kangoi Boys High School. Ready to oppose the motion, sustainable development should be citizen driven. On my point of view, sustainable development should not be citizen driven. Instead, it should be government driven. First, let's see what is a government. Government is a group of people who put or set laws that govern a country or a state. Develop sustainable is something that you're able to maintain. Development is the progress. So sustainable development should not be citizen driven. Instead, it should be government driven because government is the only organ 
that can sustain development of a country. For example, political stability in Rwanda, even though the 1994 genocide took place, we see that because the government came together under visionary leadership, it has led to a drop in the in poverty rate in the country from 59% in the year 2001 to 45% in the year 2011, according to World Bank. We see that when we, we also see that most citizens earn a low income. They have a duty to satisfy their own personal needs before thinking about the welfare of the country and its development or infrastructure. We take, for example, Amazon. When we leave the citizens to sustain the development, we find that Amazon earns a low income. Thereby, he is, he is unable to satisfy the needs of his family and still be able to, to, to satisfy the needs of the country, welfare, like infrastructure, roads. We find that the Amazon is unable to... to to satisfy infrastructure and, and still be able to satisfy his personal needs. Thirdly, if sustainable development is left for citizens, some of the citizens will tend to see themselves to be more superior than others. So we find that some citizens will tend to see, some citizens in some communities will tend to see that a certain road it is also built and a certain community is dormant and there is nothing that it is doing. It's just waiting for us to do all the things in the country. This in turn leads to violence and the country becomes unstable. But when you see that the development is left for the government, we see that it brings about unity and harmony among the communities. Let's join our hands and oppose the motion. Sustainable development should be citizen driven. Thank you. We'll hear rebuttals now. Proposers, you have three minutes. Gikandi Lilibella from Anesta Victory Girls, ready to propose a motion that states sustainable development should be citizen driven. On my first point, it calls for greater transparency, participation, and right to redress. Did you know Principle 10 of the Rio Decla Declaration was the first declaration to recognize the rights of the citizen, to recognize the rights of the citizen to hold their government accountable? to hold their government accountable on their environmental policies and impacts of norms that influence development process. Now you know. On my second point, recogni recognition of major groups. Who are these major groups? We have the women, we have the youth, we also have the indigenous group. Documentation and discussion of the World Summit actually emphasized and identified these major groups and also emphasized that their visions and their voice should be accounted in the development processes. On to my third point, call for a holistic development fra framework. The Rio Summit introduced a new focus on the interrelation between the social, environmental, and economic issues in such a sustainable development. These issues include poverty and equity. They were, rec they were accumulated in Gender 21. This document, was, this document presented new demands and trends in accessible way that galvanize public awareness and call for action for strengthening accounting of IFI, Info International Financial Institution. So to my opposition side, please be wise. Don't think outside the box. Think like there's no box. Opposition, you have three minutes for your rebuttal. From Kangoy High School, I would like to take this opportunity to oppose the motion that says sustainable development should be citizen driven. Okay, to start with, the poverty menace facing most of the developing countries has proven difficult to curb and eradicate, and it's a major hindrance of my proposals. I would just like to, to ask a question. If the majority of the population cannot sustain their own, their own daily needs, how will they sustain development? Also, most statistics, statistics, by the research done by Ipsos Sinovich showed that majority of people, especially in Kenya, lives below uh, one dollar weight per day. So I would like to ask if they live by, uh, by one, uh, if they cannot sustain their own, their own daily needs, 
for sure. How can they set any, any money aside for development? For sure you don't expect people to talk of development where they can carry out development where they are naked or on hungry stomachs. Also, to my second point, you see, citizens, considering the crucial sectors of a country, it's the security. Citizens are not licensed to own superior weapons such as atomic bombs and nuclear warheads. For example, in case of a major attack by the terrorist groups such as ISIS and the Ashababs, who comes with superior weapons such as the tankers, how do you expect the citizens to defend themselves against those groups? Also, to my third point, if citizens were left to develop the health sector, it would face growth retardation as citizens cannot be able to construct fully the health facilities. Also, they cannot be in a position to pay all their health workers. And with that, it will just increase the death rate. Thank you. The Great Debaters Contest 2016 registration is now open. Teachers or school administrations should register on www.greatdebaterscontest.com slash register. The Great Debaters Contest 2016 registration is now open. Teachers or school administrations should register on www.greatdebaterscontest.com slash register. The proposers have been asked, can the citizen really step in in place of the leadership to curb corruption when sometimes the, the citizens are just as corrupt as the leadership? And the opposition have been asked, if all lower income citizens came together, would they not be able to create sustainable development? Third proposer, you have three minutes. Oh my, what a relevant debate. Charity Cherono, an Esther Victory, proposing the motion sustainable development should be citizen driven. The man who does more than is paid for will soon be paid for more than he does. Those are the words Napoleon Hill said. And to the question my friend you posed, look, look at when the citizens, we at least have to be involved in the development. So when the mistake arise, we are aware of it. Were you aware of the Euro bond? You weren't. Just you just, you're just surprised of the mistake. At least the citizens should be involved in it. To my first reason, development of democracy. Democracy is a system of government in which people vote in elections to choose the people who will govern them. At least I'll choose that leader who I'll know that he'll do something to me. The leaders of Kenya come to us telling us about 20 that what of the present lives we live lives who are miserable. We have at least to have those leaders who are telling us something to do today to help our future. I need that leader who will tell me what to do now to have a better future. Not leaders who will tell us we'll have a brighter future. We'll have a 2030. No. And right now, we're having a poor 2016. Please, as we all know, 2016 is what will make 2030. Your life now will make your future. Raising the living standards of people in the country. I have a neighbor. Who, her daughter is not going to school. Reason? She does not have the funds. She does not have the money. But she has the idea of how to get it. And she's not been given that chance. When given that opportunity for citizens, she will have that chance. At least her daughter will get back to school. To my opponents, I know you're floating at the island, but look at my fellow counterparts who are sailing deep in the ocean with our ship. Please do not float. I'm here for a rescue. Join us. Only three spaces are remaining. Thank you. Opposition, you have three minutes to respond to the question. Wow, wow, wow. What a day. My name is Tony Washira from Kangoi Boys High School. I'm, str I'm standing here strongly to oppose that sustainable development should be citizen driven. First, we were posed a question that if people who are earning low income come together, if they will be able to bring about a sustainable development. These people who are earning low income, they first have to fend for their families. They first have to cater for their development so as to go forward, to move forward and raise the living standards of the country. 
So, on to my first point. In a sustain sustainable development should not should not be citizen driven but government driven. In terms of mining, we can see that many mineral locations such as Johannesburg, Witwatersrand, they have grown due to this mining because due because of the involvement of the government, it has helped in terms of creation of employment in the mining industries and also it has helped in the growth of the towns in terms of the pro provision of social amenities due to that mining. And on to my other point is that citizens, especially the farmers, they produce the crops, but they face a bigger challenge in marketing. This is where the government comes in hand to provide funds and incentives in terms of providing the machinery to be used in the farms and implements, thus lowering the cost of production, helping the farmers to market their products both internationally and nationally, which will bring income to our country, leading to economic development. On to my third point, that in terms of health, we can see in many developing countries that the government has come in hand to bring and import machines, for example, the cancer treating machines, which have helped preserve, which have helped to preserve the life of human beings, the population of the country. And hence, it will bring about economic development because many people will not die in, due to diseases, which will help the country to grow because it will provide much labor, because it will preserve the life. And in, in conclusion, I would urge us, let us all join hands and pave way for the government to take the bull by its horns in helping us to grow, develop, to develop. We'll hear closing statements now. Proposers, you have a minute. I'm back. If you don't like it, better ship out. I am a leader. I am like the second government of my school. After the principal, I am like the second government. I have to involve my students in decision making. I can't go to the hall and make maybe delegate duties without understanding the problems of my students first. This one will lead to easy development. And please, stop misleading all these audience. And please, stop misleading those audience. For my second proposal, what is that? You never, you, you, actually, you are actually misleading them. Please, next time, do a proper research, or better yet, Google it. Thank you. Opposition, you have a minute as well. Just as the man of Yimbo said, that a man of little words is considered wise. I have nothing more to add. I have nothing more to add than to tell you, let us join hands and help in promoting development by paving, by paving way for the government to take the bull by its horns. Thank you very much. I'll just address Mr. Victory Girls. I think there are a couple of issues that we need to work on. Number one, our debating skills, very important. And particularly to Gikana, you know, decorum, just, just be polite, you know, be nice to your opponents. Sometimes when you address them, you know, in a hard way or in a harsh way, it might not really underscore. By the way, if you use bad language, the problem is we underscore you or we subtract some marks from you, which is dangerous. So we want you to address your opponents, to the entire team actually, address your opponents, but don't take much time you know, asking them to cross the floor. I, I mean, it's a traditional way of debating. Fine, girls, let logic, the arguments that you put across, make the opponents cross the floor. Now, the issue of sustainable development should be citizen-driven. Fine. It will address the issue of corruption. I really did not see how, if it is citizen-driven, it's going to address this particular problem. Unless the argument actually was well-built, then we could take it as a point. The aspect of electoral processes, you know, yeah, it is the citizens that elect the leaders. But the question is, how does that 
tie with sustainable development because we might elect the leaders. The leaders might end up being corrupt. And I think most African countries practice democracy. So the question is, if we are going to elect the leaders, will that translate to sustainable development? There is some gray area that I didn't understand. Moses, I think you brought in the aspect of that we are saying it should not be citizen driven, but government driven. And I think that's where your stand was. However, I felt like the other team members did not build on what you brought in forth as government driven. And I, I love the example that you're trying to allude to of Rwanda and all and how they are being rated as maybe one of the most sustainable in terms of growth. Um, but my question was, what's the latest? We know that Rwanda now is already, you know, most of the nations are now focusing on them since the renewal of the presidential terms. Are they still rated as one of the best in terms of growth? Okay. So it's good to also have the latest on the table. Um, Tony, you know, I think you tried to answer the question, okay? Although it, it looked like it was quite a lengthy one. You had a, uh, a lengthy way of answering it. Uh, and I see you taking a humble pie after you were attacked. If I may use that word, you know, don't get distracted. Just come give your points as they are, you know, and keep going, all right? Uh, for Kelvin, my good friend, Kelvin, when you come to the stage, just talk to everybody, okay? Build eye contact, look at the people, even when you're at the stage, even when you're seated, just embrace a good posture, all right? So that, so that at least we can tell that you, uh, you, you have that confidence. You came, and even how you spoke. My name is Kevin. Da -da -da. And then you started going on, you know, we couldn't even get you, so we had to really listen, okay? Just practice, start speaking to yourself, to your friends, in a better way that can be listened into. All right. Let me just say average submissions, average rebuttals, a lot of work needs to be done. It's not a matter of just passion and conviction. Some of us, I think, are taking a lot of time in preparing to be passionate and convicted about a motion. It's about clarity of the points you're giving. Many of you do uh, very good research, but you don't internalize the points. So when you stand on stage, we can't hear you. In fact, for the ladies, for Maureen, Lily, and Charity, everything that I have written down is point not clear. Yet you had nice points. Learn to internalize the points immediately you've researched, then now bring them. Don't just work on passion and conviction, and that cuts across also to Kangui boys. Well, when Kantai decided to tie a tie and... Uh well, it's a tie between Anesta Victory Girls and Kangui Boys High School. They both have 58%. Give them a round of applause. Thank you to both teams for participating in the debate. We'd like to thank you at home for watching as well. For more information, follow us on social media at Great Debaters EA and find our videos on YouTube as well. I have been your host, Mariam Bishar. And I am Austin Yombok. Catch you next time. The Great Debaters Contest 2016 registration is now open. Teachers or school administrations should register on www.greatdebaterscontest.com slash register. Contest was brought to you by Safaricom M-Pesa.